Hi friends, how are you? I am helping you, your personality transformation through different stories. So please do watch till the end. Okay, friends, I am a motivational trainer, transformational mentor, author, TV host, and social media influencer. Today, I am sharing with you a story. Bezos joins Branson in Billionaire's Space Club, capsules 10 minute flight on Blue Origin's New Shepard rocket to 107 km above Earth. He says, uh, Best day ever. Jeff Bezos, the world's richest man, was accompanied by his uh, brother Mark and the world's oldest running space travelers, Valley Funk 82 and Oliver Dam in 18, on his suborbital trip on Tuesday. Best day ever, Bezos wearing a blue flight suit and a cowboy hat said after the space capsule touched down kicking up a cloud of dust on the desert floor in remote West Texas. Jeff Bezos uh, safely landed back on Earth after his uh, successful space trip. After returning back, he said that we need to take all the polluting industry and move it into space. Earth is beautiful. We need to take care of it, he added. What a great comment. <laughs> After going past the 62 mile height that is considered by many to be where space begins, the capsule reached 3,51,210 feet altitude, 66.5 miles, roughly 107 kilometers, before returning to the Earth in a journey which lasted 10 minutes and 10 seconds. The passengers spent four minutes floating in zero gravity. Best day ever, Bezos exclaimed on his return to Earth, popping out of the capsule wearing a cowboy hat. The back-to-back -back launches uh, within 10 days by billionaires, uh, Branson and Bezos is viewed by some as vanity projects, but many analysts believe it will herald an era of commercial space tourism including trips in the moon uh, for those who can afford it, although costs are expected to drop over the years. When billionaires Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson went to space in their private suborbital uh, sub flights earlier this month, the space tourists were called commercial astronauts by many. Yes, see their photographs. See their smile. Great. But the US Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, has uh, tightened its definition of the word astronaut, making it harder for people like Bezos and Branson to be called commercial astronauts. The FAA is the only US agency that awards astronaut wings to passengers on a commercial spacecraft, since the NASA and US military recognizes only their employees as astronauts. According to the FAA updated eligibility requirements, space explorers must go through the required training to be certified as an astronaut and fly beyond 80 kilometers above the Earth surface as a flight crew on a permitted launch or recent vehicle. Uh, they also uh, must have demonstrated activities during flight that were essential to uh, the public safety or contributed to human space flight safety. The updated guidelines were published the same day Amazon CEO, along with three other crew members, blasted off his Blue Origins New Shepard rocket and capsule combo and touched down after about 10 minutes of flight. New Shepard was a fully autonomous spacecraft and didn't have any Blue Origin staff on board during its maiden human space flight. Yes, friends, this is Jayaprakash Nagati Ali. Do follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, and so on. Yes, 
I am a trainer, I am a mentor, author, motivator, and social media influencer. Do follow me, and you may connect to me in the in my mobile number nine double eight six zero eight double one double eight. Yes, I am preparing my subscribers towards daringness. How do you say? What do you say? What's your comments? I am waiting for your comments. Okay, please do subscribe to Jeff Cash Nagati Heli and Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel. Okay. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.